decades comes a heavyweight. Hungry to be great, born to be champion. The only way to stop him is to surrender. Iron Mike Tyson, the next great heavyweight, if he has enough heart. Because from here, the knockouts come harder. The competition gets dangerous. Iron Mike Tyson versus Mitch Blood Green, live on HBO, Tuesday, May 20th. Much heralded teen. Every few decades comes a heavyweight. Hungry to be great, born to be champion. The only way to stop him is to surrender. Iron Mike Tyson, the next great heavyweight, if he has enough heart. Because from here, the knockouts come harder. The competition gets dangerous. Iron Mike Tyson versus Mitch Blood Green, live on HBO, Tuesday, May 20th. Much heralded teenage heavyweight Mike Tyson. We'll know more tonight when he steps into the ring against Blood Green at Madison Square Garden. This year's Indy York. And the most promising heavyweight in years will again put his talents on display. Mike Tyson won't be 20 years old until next month, but he's gaining ring experience by leaps and bounds. Tyson's brief pro boxing career to date has drawn rave reviews. 20 fights, 19 knockouts. Tonight, Tyson will climb into the ring in New York against 29-year-old Mitch Green. And the tale of the tape tells an awful lot about this pairing. Tyson is 10 years younger than Mitch Green. He is 6 inches shorter. Mitch Green weighs almost 10 pounds more than Tyson does and has a 2.5-inch reach advantage. Look at the records, though. Green is 29 years, has fought 18 professional fights. Tyson is 20-0. and 0. Green 16 one and one for Tyson. He is a necessary stop on the road to a heavyweight championship fight. Yesterday in New York City, Mike Tyson appeared at the weigh-in, fit as usual, weighing in at 215 and a quarter pounds. While his opponent, Mitch Green, threatened to pull out of the fight because he'll receive less than one-sixth of the first guaranteed Tyson. What Green must be aware of is the power that Mike Tyson possesses. In his fourth professional fight, he did away with Ricardo Spain in a first-round knockout. Two months later, again in the first round, Tyson went right to work with Lorenzo Kennedy and knocked him out with a flurry of punches. The string of KOs continued. Jesse Ferguson made it through six rounds with Tyson, but the baby bull won the fight with his devastating inside punches. Then Tyson's last fight was against James Quick Tillis. Early on, Tyson worked the body like an experienced veteran. But this was Tyson's toughest fight of his career. In the early rounds, Tyson opened up. But Quick Tillis didn't fall as quickly as his previous opponents and responded to the pressure. The one knockdown in the fight in the fourth round. Tillis threw a wild left. Tyson spotted the opening and throws a left of his own to knock Tillis down. It was the only fight that Tyson had that went the distance. But in the end, it was Tyson by a unanimous decision. The winner of tonight's fight is said to be in line for a shot at Trevor Burbick. The WBC heavyweight champ won that title in March and could defend it for the first time against tonight's winner. Tyson wants to claim a heavyweight championship before he turns 21, and that would make him the youngest heavyweight champion in boxing history. Mike, and like Tyson, a native New Yorker. Tyson born in Brooklyn, Green born in the Bronx. There is a natural rivalry between them and some additional bad blood brought on by the fact that Blood Green thinks he's being underpaid for this fight. Corey McFerrin of WABC in New York has more on the makeup of Mitch Green. That should be the opportunity, the better more opportunity than this. Mitch Blood Green, going berserk, wants more money, says he's being used, threatens to pull out of the fight. Today in Jamaica, Queens, Mitch's mother Charlotte says her son feels better since the explosion. Some people are going to down him for it, and some will say, well, he's standing up for his rights. Of course, you're going to have the pro and the con of the negative and the positive, always. But it was in him eating him alive. Now, what you got to remember about Mitch Blood Green is his past. Highly publicized Golden Gloves champion. Big time amateur fights all over the world. A promising pro career which just never developed the way he thought it might. The way it appears Tyson's is. All right, now show us when, when we're going to see Mitchell here. Along with older brother Fred, we watched some home movies. Mitch in his early teens, deeply involved in the local gangs back in the South Bronx. I know he did a lot of fighting, and but he went to jail in those days a lot, too, from fighting, and especially with cops, things like that. He was very bad, very bad. Now, once Mitch got involved in boxing, did that tail off at that point? It did. Uh, his whole life seemed to change. 
he was into something that he liked, and he was a different person. Well, assuming that Mrs. Green's son doesn't put a wrench into Mike Tyson's future plans, promoter Don King will officially announce Tyson's next fight later this week. or the negative and the positive, always. But it was in him eating him alive. Now, what you got to remember about Mitch Blood Green is his past. Highly publicized Golden Gloves champion. Big-time amateur fights all over the world. A promising pro career which just never developed the way he thought it might, the way it appears Tyson's is. All right, now show us when, when we're going to see Mitchell here. Along with older brother Fred, we watched some home movies. Mitch in his early teens, deeply involved in the local gangs back in the South Bronx. I know he did a lot of fighting, and but he went to jail in those days a lot, too, from fighting, and especially with cops, things like that. He was very bad, very bad. Now, once Mitch got involved in boxing, did that tail off at that point? It did. Uh, his whole life seemed to change. He, he was into something that he liked, and he was a different person. Well, assuming that Mrs. Green's son doesn't put a wrench into Mike Tyson's future plans, promoter Don King will officially announce Tyson's next fight later this week. The match will take place on Friday, the 13th of June. Tyson against Reggie Gross, part of a card that has two title fights, including WBC lightweight champ Hector Macho Camacho against Edwin Rosario. Gremlins and Bottom.